My name is Alicia English and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited because we are spending another day inside our bathroom. That's right. I know it doesn't look like it, but we are inside our main floor bathroom. We are doing a complete makeover, working with our favorite brand home hardware to design a brand new bathroom space. I'm so excited. The process so far is going a little bit slowly with the removal of everything. We've come up with just a few obstacles, getting some of the old school installation out of this bathroom. But today we are finally, finally, finally at the part where we get to actually start installing things back into this space. Thank goodness. The messy part is done and now we get to the fun stuff. So I'm sitting on a brand new bathtub and we are going to give you a quick tour of what we've actually done in this space already and then show you how things are going to get back in. Today we're going to tackle electrical, plumbing, and installation of our tiling. We're going to get this thing done this week. If you're new to my channel and you've missed our previous episodes, you can see our demolition and we actually found diamonds in a bag in the wall in this bathroom space. How cool is that? Check it out on the playlist and be sure to hit subscribe to follow along on future updates of this makeover. So this is not a large bathroom. It's only approximately six feet by eight feet. And our bedroom closet actually backed into this bathroom space, making this seem even smaller with no access to the bathroom. So it was not an ensuite. So right now what we've done is we've brought this whole room back to the studs. We've removed the old toilet, the old vanity, the actual mirror vanity that was at the top here, and all of the old tiles that were installed incorrectly, which meant that the only way to salvage the walls was actually just to rip it all out. There was no way for us to actually save what was underneath those old tiles. So we're going to be putting up new drywall and getting these walls nice and fresh because we're going to be doing a couple of different ideas on the upper and lower wall. We removed the old shower install that was here and all of the old fixtures and the old tub. That was a little bit of a tricky job to get out, but we did it and super heavy. I love that the newer age tubs are not as heavy as those old ones. And so we've got this sort of put into place here just to see how it fits. Everything's lining up perfectly. And we added some extra floor space by taking out the bedroom closet and actually making this space now part of the square footage of this bathroom space, which is going to make a huge impact when we are going to build open shelving. I couldn't do that in the old tub. No, we've never had a tub where you could sit in it and have your feet extended out. It's a lot deeper. It's about six or seven inches deeper than our previous tub, which means that you can actually have water level up to where you want it. So this is pretty exciting. So if you saw in previous episodes, there was a solid wall here that was tiled in the bathroom, which meant that we really lost all of the square footage in this little closet which was only the size of our bedroom closet if you can believe it just a two foot by three foot space and so we're going to be doing a different project in our bedroom which means that we are okay to sacrifice this tiny little bit of closet to add open shelving and a little more square footage into the bathroom we've also removed the old flooring and now we found a couple layers of other flooring underneath so we're just finishing getting this off but this is going to make a huge impact adding a gorgeous style to this flooring and add that little extra space. So as you notice, it's kind of dark in here because we've turned off all of the water and the electrical. We're going to be adding two light fixtures, not one. So we need to make some adjustments with the electrical. If you followed our first video, we talked about some problems that we had with this bathroom. And one of them was that this shower head was incredibly short to have a shower. And so it's kind of pointless. And my husband's a little bit taller than me, so he actually has to duck down to have a shower. So we're going to be raising up the plumbing and then adding actually different style fixtures all together, which is going to make having a shower a lot better rather than having to take off the handle. Okay, we just got finished installing a whole bunch of plumbing and we just have a few little things to finish up here. We're getting ready to have the new features and faucets for the bathtub. So we had to make some adjustments from the old system to the new system. Pretty easy to do. Just have a little bit of previous experience to be able to do it. So we're able to get all of our little parts we needed at home hardware. Perfect. We're going to get our new fixtures in. Let's light this bathroom up. I got this weight on my shoulders, slowing me down. I don't know how it came about. And while the world is spinning faster every night, I feel I'm stuck in reverse somehow. But it ain't no one's fault that I am stuck.
Okay, so all of our plumbing is done and now we're going to test the water. Some of the parts of this faucet we can't put on until the actual backboard is on, but we're gonna make sure we have no leaks before we get to that point. Working by moonlight. <laughs> okay, this is the exciting part. We're going to put our first board, a moisture barrier wall behind the bathtub. This is a super important step. You don't wanna put just regular drywall. You wanna make sure this is your moisture wall. So I'm going to put my first piece on. Let's get this back installed. We're falling out, we have reached disaster Don't know where we're gonna be after And we do it all again and again and again and again Again and again and again and again We're falling, falling down, we faded But I know, I know that we can save it Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of breakers down I know we are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Alpha and Omega Like the waves blow you down underwater We're fun until we hit the bottom I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. We are working our way around the whole perimeter of this room, getting the drywalling and all of the electrical work done. We're going to show you in the next episode the next processes of this, which is getting the tiles on the wall and doing our flooring. We also have a gorgeous new vanity, open shelving, and a lot of really neat elements that we're adding to this space. For any of the details on any of the products that I'm using during this renovation, you can find them at homehardware.ca. All of their information will be in the description box down below. Thank you so much to Home Hardware for sponsoring this project. We love working on collaborations with our favorite brands. See you guys on the next episode.